Hey there! Welcome to the Old Computer Museum channel. And this is a real machine and a Mega 500 and the game is Red Storm Rising. This is a game uh, from 1988 made by Microprose. Microprose being one of the leaders in computer simulations on computers back then. Um, all the great simulation of helicopters, combat helicopters, submarines and planes and so many uh, simulations that came out. The platforms that this game is available is the Amiga, the Atari ST, the Commodore 64 and also in DOS for PCs. It's a simulation game, single player and basically um, Red Storm Rising is a simulation video game uh, based on Tom Clancy's novel Red Storm Rising. Basically, you're put in charge of an American SSN submarine in the Norwegian Sea Theater uh, with the overall role of a hunter killer performing various missions and uh, in the context of global conflict uh, that is described in the book itself. As with all computer simulations, well, you are, um, you have to play and play a lot in this game because it's something that you learn. You cannot play a computer simulation like this in an hour. You really have to take the time to, um, you know, learn all of the functions. Of course, being a um, simulation strategy game, you can save your um, game anywhere and recall that same game on a save disk later on to continue. And for the purpose here we start a new game and basically you have four different uh, timelines starting in the early 80s so uh, you switch to whatever timeline you want to have uh, from 1984 Russian submarine to 1996, Russia's Northern Fleet uh, grows very large, and so you have four types of timelines and simulations here. And then you have the choice of your submarine you choose. Uh, here is the ident identification. This was very popular back then. It's a way of preventing copy of games. And basically you choose something and you have to answer according to the manual, the instruction manual that comes with your game. So if you don't have the instruction manual, you can't continue. This game has been cracked, so you don't really need it. And so you choose between the uh, six different uh, uh, boats or submarines and um, before you continue. So being a um, simulation, lots of little questions to answer before. As you see here, there's introductory, which says beginners are urged to select this option because that's the um, option where you learn how to actually uh, work the submarine and um, the different controls and radar and um, torpedoes and then you have normal, serious, and ultimate which um, depending on how you uh, play and if you enjoy the game basically um, graphics are to a minimum though there are some graphics uh, for example with the command post in the submarine you'll have graphics uh, of course you have objectives so you have to follow the objective. As you see here at the top you have some of the graphics. There's a 
computer room or the control room of the submarine and um, different parts of the game have different types of graphics showing you open water um, submarines and torpedoes um, lots of the time you're in a kind of a radar mode and um, like all computer simulation um, especially from that time a lot of what is happening is actually happening in your head because you have to put yourself in the um, in the skin of these people there in a submarine and you are going to try and be that guy that's gonna save and destroy other submarines of course I did not play this game much and part of what I'm gonna say is um, kind of the reflection of all the um, internet pages that I've seen that talk about the game and uh, from what I've seen and I do believe it because um, I am a big fan of microprose games and especially I played Gunship uh, that is from Microprove and really really enjoyed myself playing a long time on uh, Gunship and having that uh, um, combat helicopter so um, by watching, by reading a little bit on this game on the internet and also having the feel of the game I can say that this game does look very promising and probably is one of the really good submarine simulations out there What is particularly hard on this game is, of course, to learn how to play the game. And um, one thing that I would suggest is that if you download this um, game for the Amiga, it's a two-disc ADF, uh, download the manual, try to find yourself a manual online because it's really going to help. Without a manual, it is kind of complicated and difficult. Uh, I think you maybe you can still master it without a manual but I think that without a manual it's difficult to really master and under understand this game so um, based on what I've seen on the internet um, I'll give it a uh, score of um, 7.5 out of 10 because uh, most people that played this game uh, actually really enjoyed it a lot and um, the, the first feel I have by starting just going around and flowing through the different screens uh, actually makes me think that this game is probably quite good uh, most micro prose games were pretty good so uh, hey uh, if you've played of course the uh, Red Storm Rising game uh, for Amiga or any other types of consoles or computers uh, let us know and uh, give us your point of view of did you like this game was it cool did you play and enjoy it for so many hours that you just can't remember uh, let us know because we want to really uh, get the most information about uh, what you think of Redstone Rising. So this is uh, on a real Amiga 500 computer as you can see here. Some graphical details which uh, are pretty nice I must say. If uh, you enjoy these old games, old computers, consoles let us know and click the subscribe button at the top of the screen you'll be informed when new videos are online if you have uh, maybe a request of a game or a console you'd like to see let us know we'll try to uh, put a video online and uh, hey take a look at all the other games uh, consoles and games we have uh, real machines like the Amiga 500, the Atari ST uh, emulation Commodore 64 Super Nintendo, Sega Genesis, Atari 2600 VCS 
and lots lots more coming up so uh, stay tuned to our channel and uh, hope you come back to the old computer museum channel so this was Reststorm Rising for the Amiga 500 bye bye <laughs>